All right, so it's the next day, and the next day is Christmas Eve. Um, it's actually a nice day today. It's sunny, and it's for December in Ohio, it's fairly warm. I don't know what the temp is, but because uh, I never checked. But here we go at it again, though. We're gonna try to get this. Gonna try to get this. Uh, all this Chalmers business figured out today and get this the rest of the way apart. Oh, do I need luck on this or what? Definitely or what? I still have this, uh, I still have this Woodruff key down in here. I've got a pair of vice grips clamped onto it here, but I don't have any way to, uh, put like a hammer action to it. I need something I can, I need something I can just like grip around this and use like a slide hammer type of deal. I might have to make that. All right, so um, I remembered that I had a slide hammer and I know I got all kinds of scrap steel, so um, here's what I've, uh, Come up with we're going to try to use that to yank this woodruff key out so i got a little slide hammer um i rigged it up to the back of the vice grips and i got the vice grips clamped on to the outer edge of the woodruff key and we're going to try to slam this thing out of here with the with a slide hammer it's not falling apart which is good Jeez, this thing's gonna take more work than I thought. Ah! I'm literally lifting this thing by the by the Woodruff key that's down on this little shaft, and it is not even budging. moving at all. it's not moving at all I mean I don't I guess I can heat the shaft up heat the heat the thing up a little bit and maybe that'll let it go guess we can try some heat That's oxygen. That is not going to light. There we go. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit here. And we don't want to get it too there. Okay, let's try that. Getting it just at the beginning stages of, of glowing red. That's the key, not the shaft. Get it heated up so that it expands and then hopefully it shrinks a little bit and we can get it out of there. gas put this down all right let's see here we'll get those vice grips put back on there and then we'll try this again Moving it all. Come on, man. 
you got to come out of there. I got it! Ha ha! Success! Success! All right, so we got that woodruff key out of there, which means we should be able to get this shaft out of here. So let's go, let's go give that a try. Let me sit you down so you can watch. All right, so this should just come right out. Just like that. Huh, something went right. Oh, amazing. All right. I'm going to grind this crap off of here, and hopefully that'll let that brake drum fall out through the hole it's supposed to come out of. There, should have been off. That should be all it, all it takes. Should be, but you never know. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, obviously, I chewed this thing up, so I need to get a new one. And uh, they're gettable, so you can just order one. See how rusty that all is? That is bad news. So we have to get this bearing off and this bearing off. And this one's rusted solid. And it's, and, well, so is this one. So, I don't know why the stupid camera turned off, but it did. Anyway, I broke the uh, outer part of this bearing off of here. But I'm not having a whole lot of luck on moving, on removing the inner part here. I did get it to move just a m millimeter. So, so I'm going to heat it up again. And we will see how that works out. Nope, I'm going to take my glasses off here. Fire! So we will heat this sucker up again here. Actually, let's heat the bottom first. We'll just run some heat on there until she's glowing, and then we'll come around the top and run some heat on the top. Slide right off. Ah. There's always a surprise. She goes.
right, that I gotta keep. Man, I need a vice. So anyway, we got this bearing completely off. We got this bearing knocked loose, but I've got to get it the rest of the way off of the shaft here. And it's kind of hanging up on some rust and stuff here. So uh, I'll have to get some sandpaper or something and clean that up a little bit. Maybe it'll come right off. And otherwise, uh, then we need to get to work on that bull gear get that thing out of there and whatever little shaft and bearings and things that that has so anyway we got this is uh this is gonna be by far the toughest thing there is a nut right down in here that unthreads to let the shaft come through the i don't know how it works i really don't I've mean, got a shop manual for this thing, so I'll have to do a little do a little investigation as to how it's supposed to come apart. All I know is I can't turn, I don't have a wrench the right size to get in there to turn that nut. And I do have a pair of big pump pliers right there. And that's big enough to get around it, but I can't grip it hard enough to, to actually do any good with it. So I don't know, I'll have to make some sort of cheater bar to put over the handles. Maybe I can get a little better, a little better leverage that way. Well, I walloped my thumb with a freaking hammer. And I'm gonna take that as a signal from the universe that it's time for me to be done for the day. It's Christmas Eve after all. And it should be a time for festivities, not at a time, not a time for swearing at a little orange tractor. So, I'm uh, heading in the house, going to pet my dog, going to kiss my wife. Look, here's the dog now. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Oh, she likes you. You Betty, a good girl. Yes, you are. Oh. Oh yeah, I smacked, oh my god, walloped my thumb with a hammer. Well, way to go! It wasn't just a little hammer, it was the big hammer. Is a, which thumb? That thumb? This thumb right here. Right there. Smacked her real, it was in the glove. <laughs> Oh, you're still recording. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll be cutting that out. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, yeah, you will. I don't, I'm not that good at editing. Ah! GoPro, stop recording.